here at our conference. Well, we're really delighted to be here uh, once again uh, with you uh, in India. It's a real pleasure to meet uh, with old friends and make new friends while we're here uh, in India uh, this week. I'm Richard Follett. I'm Professor of American History at the University of Sussex. And I'm also Director of International Recruitment and Development. As a historian, I'm a historian and professor of American slavery, so race relations in the United States and Caribbean. And to give you a sense, actually, of how the past shapes the present, and the past shapes, in that sense, the present, and the present shapes the past, how it's an interactive dialogue, I'm a historian of the Black Lives Matters movement, as you'll be aware, in the United States, there's been a long history of racial violence, of police brutality against communities of color, African Americans above all. But to understand why African Americans have been historically targeted for police brutality, it isn't a natural cause. It comes from a history of racist language and racist structures. To understand that question took me back to studying the history of slavery, to understanding how black men became criminalized over time. To understand the present, to understand Aleppo, to understand <coughs> Donald Trump, to understand Brexit, to understand Prime Minister Modi requires us to understand fundamentally the past, to be engaged continuously by understanding how the past shapes the present. So as a historian, I am a historian of the 18th and 19th centuries, but the subject that I study is a subject very much relevant to the here and now. You've heard my colleagues, Professor Jonathan Bacon and Professor Moses, uh, talk already this morning. But I'd say just a couple of words to the first instance about what we are and why we're in India. The three of us were appointed about two years ago as the university's directors of international recruitment and development. Our focus was to provide academic leadership for the university's global engagement strategy for its internationalization strategy. For many of us, that means that we travel a great deal. We travel to all different parts of the world, really developing opportunities for Sussex developing opportunities with partners, developing opportunities with colleagues like yourselves, developing opportunities for our students to find good employment 